Okay, hi there. If it's okay with you, let's just spend three minutes looking at three words that can make a big, big difference to your evaluation in your economics exams in the months ahead. So give me three different ways to improve my evaluation in economics exams. Well, here are three words that I think can seriously help. And they all start with the letter E. First of all, is a policy effective? Does a policy, does an intervention achieve its stated aims? Or are there barriers that get in the way and the policy isn't very successful? Which policies across a range of alternatives might be most effective, including per pound spent or per dollar spent? Good example, if we think about uh, trying to achieve the transition to a low or zero carbon economy, is a carbon tax a better way of cutting emissions than perhaps introducing a carbon trading scheme. So the first word is effective. The second word is efficiency. Does an intervention, does a policy improve efficiency? Now, strong evaluation often does involve the student discussing one or more of economic efficiency concepts, such as allocative, productive, dynamic, and social. It's also a great approach because there's lots of good diagrams you can use ranging from externalities and market failure diagrams to monopoly, oligopoly and contestable markets diagrams. So, for example, does imposing a price cap, as the government did in the energy markets, does that work in raising efficiency in energy markets or are there negative unintended consequences? So the second word is efficiency. My third word also starts with E is equity. Is a government policy Equitable. Now, when a policy is described as inequitable, it means that the policy is perceived, and there could be a valid judgment here, as not being fair or just in terms of its distribution of benefits and costs amongst different groups, different regions, different people in society. I put there, for example, think about UK policies on school meals and universal credit. Critics during the pandemic, for example, argued that the government's handling of free school meals was inequitable and its failure to keep the, the £20 lift in universal credit was inequitable because it failed to provide adequate support to the very lowest income families during a time of, of health and economic crisis. So critically assessing the effectiveness of one policy can be a really powerful approach to evaluation. Indeed, if the word effective appears in an exam question, really do zoom in on it, focus on it, and consider at least one alternative policy in your answer that will strongly affect and really boost your evaluation. And you might want to look at it from a short-term, long-run effect. So think about which policies might work better in the short term, which policies might be more effective in the long run. And I think a good example, here's a question I want to think about, to what extent are remittances and inflows of foreign direct investment more effective in cutting extreme poverty than, for example, government overseas aid. There's loads of these type of questions which you can really think about as part of evaluation. So what three words? Effectiveness, efficiency and equity. Three words that all start with E that I think could improve your evaluation and give you excellent exam results. Thanks for joining in. Take care. See you soon.